friends, welcome back to my channel. I am um, recovering at home, which is why you see a different area of my house. And that's why I'm chilling in the chair, um, no makeup on. So you will just have to forgive me. I have had hip replacement surgery and I have done a couple of videos on like pre-surgery things. And so I just wanted to update you on my post-surgery uh, recovery so far. But uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I just recently started doing this vlog. I will link the two other videos down below. So if you are considering hip replacement surgery or joint replacement surgery, or if you know someone who is, then you can let them watch this and it may help them out. I don't know. But I, so I had my surgery uh, last Wednesday. So it has, today's Tuesday when I'm filming this. So it has been six days since my surgery. And I will give you a little kind of run through of, you know, what I experienced um, pre, like the night before, the morning of, and so on. So the night before, I had to make sure that I bathed in Hibiclens, I think it is. Well, showered, excuse me. I had to shower in Hibiclens. I had to wear clean pajamas. I had to sleep on clean sheets. And then the next morning, obviously I couldn't have anything to drink or eat. Uh, and then I had to take another shower. So you'll have to excuse, I look terrible. I'm so sorry, but I'm chilling in the chair. So um, anyway, I uh, took my shower that morning, had to be at the hospital a couple hours before my surgery. And um, oh, let me change this. You'll also notice that my hands shake. I hate it so much. And I don't know why they shake, they just do. But anyway, so if the video's moving, I apologize. This is the best I can do for now. I'll try to make it quick. Anyway, morning of surgery, I had to be there a couple hours early. Once I got there, um, I had to cleanse down again. They gave me some wipes, some um, like, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Sterile wipes, I don't know. Had to clean all that again. Did all my pre-surgery um, stuff. The anesthesiologist came in, they did do a spinal, and then they gave me like a um, um, twilight kind of sedative for during the surgery. So during the surgery, I actually did kind of, I was aware at one point and I heard sounds and I think the anesthesiologist realized I was hearing things and kind of awake. So he gave, I saw the little vial of uh, cloudy um, liquid. And so he gave me more and then I was out again. And so I didn't feel anything. I could just hear, you know, that's all, that's all you need is to hear things. So anyway, um, the surgery went well. And after the surgery, they, I actually started coming to in the operating room um, after they were all done and I was able to answer some questions. And then once I got to the recovery room, they asked me, you know, can you feel your toes? Can you feel this? I was actually starting to get some feeling back in my toes, in my feet and in my legs. Um, so that was a good sign. So I don't think I had to stay in recovery as long as usual because I was starting to get the um, feeling back pretty quickly. Uh, once I got to the room, um, they sent me to the room and uh, my husband was in there waiting and they got me all settled. And I was probably in the room maybe 
45 minutes before physical therapy came in and already started wanting to get me up and have me walk around. So it was probably an hour after I got into the room. So I wanna say maybe three hours post-op that they had me up walking with a walker and I didn't have to walk very far, but just enough, you know, to get me started. Um, at that point, they brought me back in the room. Instead of putting me in the bed, they wanted me to sit in the chair. I don't know if it was just my anesthesia was wearing off I didn't have enough pain medicine in me or if the chair was super uncomfortable, but um, I started feeling some pain and I just couldn't take it anymore. And they had to come and give me some more pain medicine. And I think I kind of maybe started having a little panic attack because it was hurting pretty bad. Um, and then it just started kind of flooding like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put up with this for the next you know, month or whatever. So they got me back in the bed, got me settled, and then I started feeling, you know, feeling better. They didn't make me get up anymore that day. I was able to eat something, not very much, but I was able to eat something. And I'm, you know, everybody reacts differently to anesthesia. Um, so I think maybe, I don't know. Um, I, I guess that's just how I reacted to to it, I don't know, but anyway, um, the next morning, uh, well, sorry, I didn't sleep very well um, that night, number one. I had pain medicine, but I mean, it's still, you know, it only, it only takes away so much pain. It was just discomfort, you know, um, but also the nurses came in literally every hour you don't get any sleep in the hospital. So the next morning, um, they came in and said, you know, I was gonna do physical therapy at like 9.30. And so um, I did physical therapy. I can't remember if I ate before that or not, but I did physical therapy. Um, and they, you know, they come in the room, they get you in the chair that has wheels on it and then they roll you. And the physical therapy wasn't really that much. It was just mainly moving your feet, um, moving, you know, moving the the leg, the surgery leg. Um, when you're sitting up, you're able to move it up and down and squeezing the ball between your legs. And that was pretty much it. And then of course they make you walk for a bit. Um, and then they said, you know, we'll see how you're doing after your next physical therapy session. And if you do okay, you may be able to go home today. So that would mean one night in the hospital. And they put me in the chair when I got back to the room and I actually was able to sit in the chair from about 10 o'clock to about 1230 and it was fine. So maybe, maybe the first time I just didn't have enough pain medicine or something, but um, I was able to sit until the next physical therapy session. And after that session, they told me that, you know, I was doing well enough I could go home. And I felt like I probably would get more rest being at home. And I have help here. So I said, I'll just go home and, you know. So they sent me my discharge papers. And I think I was out of the hospital at like 3.30 that afternoon. And I came home and um, so I feel, so I came home on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's been, I've been home for four days and I do find that I'm able to wait longer between pain medicine doses. Um, I'm able to move easier. Um, my exercises are getting much easier. Getting out of a chair, um, at first, I was having to have help getting out of the chair. Now, I, you know, I just, I'm sitting in my recliner. I can push myself out of the chair using the precautions that the surgeon gave. And, um, but, you know, four days after, I'm able to get around fairly well. Um, I still am not eating that much. I'm just not really that hungry. 
Um, but I slept in my bed the first three nights and it just wasn't really comfortable and I found that I was able to rest better in the recliner. So last night I slept in the recliner for the first time um, and it was, you know, I, I slept pretty well. I was definitely much more comfortable um, sleeping. So uh, anyway, so it is now day six post-surgery and like I said, I'm able to get out of my chair on my own. I'm able to walk to the restroom using my walker, walk around the house. I walk around the house um, two or three times a day in addition to getting up to use the bathroom um, just to kind of, you know, keep the leg active. I do my exercises. Oh yeah, the nurse and physical therapy came on Saturday, my first day home after my initial discharge. And then the um, they came back yesterday and I had my second physical therapy session and she said it was that I was doing really well. So um, I think me just, you know, moving, doing my exercises while I'm in my chair throughout the day and walking several times throughout the day does help. So um, anyway, it's day six. So I wanted to give you an update on how things went and how things have gone so far in my recovery. And after a couple days, I will hopefully give you another update. If you're new to my channel, typically I do videos, um, you know, DIY videos, uh, haul videos, home decor, home organization. But this is just something that I felt like, you know, was kind of going on that was major in my life right now, so I wanted to document it. For anyone out there who, you know, may be trying to decide if this is something that they wanna go through or, you know, are trying to make the decision to do. So I hope it helps you out. If you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this, uh, like this video and leave a comment down below, and I would love to hear from you. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.